my channel and welcome to another video now let me just go ahead and say i know you guys have not seen me in forever it's been so long since i posted and all of that and of course i have a video coming up explaining to you where i've been what i've been up to what i've been doing but in this video as you can tell by the title i wanted to share with you guys the nursery space that i've created for my baby i'm still very much pregnant as you can see, I'm much further along than the last time I posted. I posted, I'm actually 38 weeks. So yes, that's what I'll be showing you guys in this video. And if that's something you're interested in, just keep right on watching. As always, if you're new here or if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get into this little tour. Okay, so I just wanna jump in first with some background. So basically, if you're already like my subscriber and have been like following my channel, you know that I live in an apartment. So my apartment is currently two bedrooms, two bath, and it has a bonus room, but I also have two sons. So both of them, the, uh, the oldest one has the other bedroom and the youngest one has the bonus room. So with me being pregnant this time and it was a baby girl, um, it was so important to me to be able to create her a space. I couldn't move before it was time for me to have her because my lease wouldn't be up. So I was just brainstorming all of these different ideas so she could have her own space. So I came up with this <laughs> after being on Pinterest and watching YouTube. I saw that people were taking their people in like smaller spaces, smaller homes, were taking their walk-in closets and making them into a nursery. So I'm like, hmm, I could do that. <laughs> now, if you guys have, like I said, been subscribers of mine, you've already seen a couple peeks of my closet. I think I even actually have a closet tour on my channel. So if you wanna go and look back at that so you can see more in depth of how my closet used to look, then you can do that. But um, what I was gonna do was put in some clips of the closet before and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert those now and then I'll get behind the camera and go ahead and give you a quick tour and also reveal my baby's name. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. and everything so I had someone come and paint it for me so they took the shelves down and they painted it yesterday and it looks way better um, so yeah they painted all of that and that was just completely cleaned out that's the wallpaper right there so the same person that painted um, they're supposed to come back and put the wallpaper up. I was hoping they could do it all in one day, do the um, painting and the wallpaper, like just not, cause I want the wallpaper on that wall. So just not paint the wall and just paint the other walls and then do the wallpaper, but they weren't able to do it all in one day and they went ahead and painted this wall. So yeah, that's the wallpaper. I actually ordered one more roll just in case. Three probably would be enough for that wall, but just in case. So they come back Sunday to put that up and the other roll is supposed to arrive Sunday. So yeah, hopefully the walls will be done by then, then we could start with everything else. Oh, and they're gonna put the shelves back up too when they come.
just want to give you guys that quick little overview. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the tour started and let you know where everything is from. If you guys hear me breathing a little heavy, just bear with me. Like I told you, I'm 38 weeks pregnant and you know, I have like way more weight on my body right now than normal. So yeah, I've been breathing kind of heavy lately. So as you can see, I have her name on the back wall. My baby's name is Harley. I absolutely love this sign. And I don't know, it's just so pretty to me. But I'm going to start with, let's see, what should I start with? I guess the rug. I could start with the rug. Now, this rug, I wanted a round rug for some reason for this space. I just thought it would look better in here. So this rug I actually got from Amazon. I just typed in jute rug and I don't think it was that expensive, maybe like 20 something dollars. I don't know. But um, I know it was not that expensive at all. First, I was going to go with like a black and white rug. But for some reason, I when I ordered the black and white, I did not like it. So I wanted to try like just a natural color since I had other browns and stuff in here and I ended up liking it so I kept it in here so yes that's where that is from the rug is from Amazon now right here is where I have all of her like newborn clothes and like zero to three months I believe um so this isn't all of her clothes, but this is like what she's going to be wearing right away. And these two black organizers, I also got those from Amazon. And she has like so many clothes. So I was trying to figure out a way to fold all of this to um, make it fit and make it look neat. So really, you only see the clothes on the front, but there's actually like two rows in each thing. So and then I just kind of tried to fold it really tight and all of that. So like on these first two is where I have like her, I don't know what they're called. They are called, I don't know, <laughs> a bunch of these things. I got them from Old Navy, you know, like the all-in-one outfits. That's like her whole body is zipped in there or whatever. You can zip it from the top or the bottom. Um. So yeah, in these two, that's what's in those. And it's like actually four rows of them. So she has plenty of them. Um, and this one is all of her blankets. And this one is her onesies that have matching like pants, I believe. And once again, I had to fold those the same way because I had so many of those and I was trying to fit them in there. So yeah, all of her onesies that have like matching pants and stuff like that is in there. This is some socks. I was mostly putting the socks up here, but I guess I put those down there for some reason. Okay, and then so on this one, this is more like her all uh, white onesies and white socks and more of the other onesies that have like matching socks and bibs. Over here is more kind of like neutral outfits. It's a lot of things from like Baby Gap and like H&M and stuff. And then a couple outfits that I got um, as gifts at my baby shower. Then right there at the top, that's all of her swaddles. Mostly all of her swaddles and her muslin blankets are um, Aiden and Anai, like all of these are. And then these actually are so cute right here. These have her name on them. They are so cute. I'm taking those to the hospital with me. And they're so soft. I ordered these online um, from this website called Caden Lane that like personalizes baby stuff. So those are so cute. So those are, these swaddles right here are the only ones that are not Aiden and Anai, but those are. Um, what happened with most of this stuff, the things that I actually purchased myself, was that I was looking online, you know, for all of the recommended newborn products and swaddles were like really recommended and this brand was really recommended. So I went ahead and got those. And these things also down here were really recommended. They were like, your baby's gonna pretty much live in these the first couple of months. Um, I guess they're called sleepers, I don't know. But like I said, you zip them either from the top or bottom. It covers the feet. And the hands, like the sleeves have like fold over mittens or whatever. Those were really recommended online. Okay, and then right here is all of her little shoes and her moccasins and like her little socks with fur balls on them. And these little outfits are what I'm going to pack in our hospital bag. 
Um, so these these actually are from H and M, and H and M's baby clothing sizes are kind of confusing to me. But um, these say zero to one month. So and they're like super small. So I felt like this is stuff she's gonna be wearing right away. So these are gonna go in the hospital bag with like little matching headbands and stuff, and that's what she'll be wearing at first. Um, yeah, so that's everything. That's how I store her clothes, like I said. Now, the only clothes that are in here are her newborn and zero to three months. All of her other clothes are in a container, um, and it's like stored away under the under my bed. So I thought it made sense to only put the clothes, you know, that she'll be wearing right away. So now above that, if you look up here, oh my God, so cute. Now you'll see black baskets right there, right there, right there. Those baskets I also got from Amazon. Let me tell you guys, pretty much like, like mo the majority of the stuff in her little nursery came from Amazon. So yeah, those baskets came in a set of three. Um, so I got two sets. So, and these two above her clothes, I have all of her hair bows. She has so many like headbands, hair bows, just <laughs> so many. And in this one, I have all of her like passies and teethers and things like that. She, I ended up getting a whole bunch of, of the Ryan and Rose passies and the bibs passy. Um, and also the passy holders. And what else is up there? She has a Wubba, oh yeah, the Wubba Nub giraffe thing and the Sophia giraffe teether. So yeah, I thought that was a cute way to store all of that. Now in those baskets, there's a few things in these, but it's stuff that you can't see. Um, I have it like either laying down or it's just stuff that like I wanted to organize and have somewhere to put it but I didn't want it to like take away from the like the decor so in those baskets I put things that you probably can't see I can't even remember what I put in here this one has oh this one has like the little one month signs um but yeah just stuff that you can't see that needed a place to go so let's go back over here these pictures oh my gosh so like her room just came together so like effortless, effortlessly, but you know, like a lot of this stuff, I don't know, it was like I put it together in my head and I didn't know how it would actually look together, but it just came together so nice. Okay, so the pictures, they are so cute. They turned out so great. And I actually ordered these off of Shein, guys. Like, you know, I've mentioned Shein before. And yes, these I actually ordered off of Shein. They came in a set with all four of them. And guess how much those pictures were? For all four, it was $8. So like, and they, they're just so cute and they came out so great. Now the frames that they're in, I got those frames from Amazon that also came in a set. Those came in a set of five, actually. You got five for like $20. And if you see the color of the frames, the color of her name and her mirror it all matches because the frames they came like in a like a light wood color I'm not really sure what it was it was like a pinky wood marbly color but anyway I just um used the same paint the same spray paint that I got for I actually I got it for the sign but I ended up using it for the frames the sign and the mirror and you know just painted it so everything would match and then just put the pictures in there from Shein and that's it like this whole thing together like I said the frames were probably like $20 and the pictures were 28 so this whole thing was $28 and like if I would have went in the store trying to find something it'd probably been one picture for like $28 but anyway so yeah um as you can see like the wall is like really white in here because before I started before I did all of this I got the walls painted like it's just a nice bright white color very clean and everything um did I go through everything I believe so oh underneath her clothes is where her clothing hamper is and I believe I just typed in I got that from Amazon too. And I believe I just, I'm not sure what I typed in. Maybe just hamper. I'm really not sure. So right now inside of it, I have like my little wrap thing for her. And I also have like a tummy time mat in there. 
but that's just stored in there for right now. It's not going to stay in there because that's actually, you know, going to serve as her little hamper. Now, straight ahead, the wallpaper actually turned out so cute. And I was like weary about it because it was kind of like inexpensive. That's something else I got from Amazon. Um, and it actually was only, it wasn't even $10. I believe it was about $8. Um, per roll. I wasn't sure how many rolls I needed. So I ended up ordering Originally, I think I ordered like three and then for some reason I was like, well, what if I use it on this wall? Too? I don't know for some reason I ended up ordering another one So I ordered like four and I actually think it was seven dollars because they had some type of coupon or something with it But yeah, and then I just got somebody to like the same People who came to paint the closet. I got them to put the wallpaper up it was actually one of my friends that was like super helpful and the baskets I already told y'all those were for am from Amazon and I believe I said the wallpaper was also on Amazon I just what did I type in probably just wallpaper <laughs> and then um let's see okay the flowers and the rug okay so this is actually like a fur rug um, and I wanted that right there, you know, kind of to go with the little animal theme and all of that. And the flower crowns, you see the animals in the picture have on like flower crowns. So I wanted some flowers somewhere else in here. Um, so yeah, I typed in like fur rug because I thought if I would have just put the flowers up there by itself, it would not stand out as much. So I wanted something behind it, you know, for it to kind of like lay on. So I typed in fur rug. I ordered that rug. It was, once again, very inexpensive. I know it wasn't any more than $20. Now, the flowers, at first, I ordered this other one. And when it came, I was kind of disappointed. It was not giving what it was supposed to give at all. And it was just smaller and just not what I needed. So I sent that one back. That one was about 20, I believe. And then I ended up finding this one on Amazon. I don't know if I mentioned that. The rug and the flowers both came from Amazon. So I ended up finding that one on Amazon and that one was like 29. So that one, you know, it was a little more pricey, but it just looks way better. It definitely gives what it's supposed to give, definitely. Okay, so, and then I just put the rug up there. I had to put a little hole through the middle of the rug and put the flowers on there and use a zip tie on the back to, to really pull it up there and keep it up there tightly. So that's how I did that. Um, and then the sign, her name sign, so cute. Um, I got this from online from a website called 48 Hour Monogram. That was another thing I was weary about. I'm like, now, is this real? Does this really take 48 hours? Is it really, you know, this inexpensive? Because when I went on there, I actually like, I don't know how, I found a coupon code, I think like on Instagram or either they emailed me a coupon code um because it was my first time purchasing it was something like that but anyway so for this uh name sign i ended up only paying like maybe 40 bucks and then when it came yeah i ended up paying like maybe only 40 bucks and then when it came you know it was like exactly what i wanted and you can order it either where they already have it painted or you paint it yourself and which i wanted to paint it myself so I just got it in the natural wood and that's how it came I'll insert a picture of how it came because I believe I have one but um but yeah so I got it in just like the natural wood color because I knew I would paint it myself and it was just perfect it was so perfect um okay then the this is actually a miniature crib it's not a regular full-size crib I got that the miniature crib came with the mattress and I got that from walmart.com it's just all white with the natural wood legs and like I said, it came with the mattress. So the pink uh, mattress, the pink crib sheet I got on Amazon. And inside there is her Snuggle Me Organic. And it just so happened, like the color that I ordered it in, that rose looking color. I think that's what it was called. It might have been called something else. Gumdrop? I don't know. It was called something. Um, it just matched perfectly with the color that I used for her name sign and her mirror. And the frames. So, yeah, that's just sitting in there. I know she can't sleep in that, guys. I know somebody's going to comment and be like, oh, she's not supposed to sleep on that, whatever, whatever. I understand. It's just sitting in there for right now, just until she comes. But I know it's a lounger. So, yes. And I got that. The Snuggle Me I got from 
Bye Bye Baby. The crib I got from Walmart. And what else? The giraffe. <laughs> okay, the giraffe, of course. I got that from Amazon. I just typed in giraffe. They had two different ones. They had one that was a little more expensive. It was like $90. And it might have ended up being a little taller. But I just thought this one, the size was perfect. And it was literally only like $40. No more than 50 for sure, but I know it was 40 something. And it just ended up being so cute and so perfect and just going with the whole little theme of the room. So yeah, I'm glad I ordered that. Now, the mirror is something that I already had. Um, like I said, if you've seen my closet tour on like that I posted a very long time ago, then you'll remember this mirror. I got this from Ross and in that closet tour, the mirror was gray. Um, so I just ended up keeping this mirror in here because to me, it looks very like it gives very much beauty and the beast, very much princessy, you know, whatever. So all I did to paint it was to take the glass part out first and then, you know, paint it when I painted everything else and then just put the glass back in. It was super easy. And yeah, I think it looks so cute in here. Now, the last little area of her room is behind the door well i could just go ahead and say what's on the door i have two hooks up there now if you remember i think it was my last video or the video before that was when i was talking about my baby bags okay so keep in mind she it, like as i mentioned in that video she does have one two three four she has six baby bags actually <laughs> But I only have two hanging right here because this is the two that I think I will use the most. This was my one that I did my big reveal on when I uh, did that video, my $2,000 diaper bag. That's it. <laughs> so I have it hanging right there, ready to be used. I'm so ready to use that, guys. And then this is my um, hat brand. It's more like a, it's still like a luxury brand. And this is the... I cannot remember the name of this diaper bag. I think it's the Levy or something. I'm really not sure, but I love this one too. Like just love it. It's so like luxurious and it has like the little puff on it. And this I got from Bye Bye Baby. That's just like a bag charm or whatever that says mama. But yeah, that's on there. So that is where I'm storing her diaper bags, the ones that I'll be using the most. The other four that I'll still use, but just not as much, I have those in the storage closet. And the last little area in her room is the diaper cart. Now, I got the idea because I was trying to figure out how in the world am I going to like, you know, store her diapers and things I need for when I change her and all of that. And I saw this on Pinterest also. So it has like two rows of newborn diapers. Then at the bottom, it has like a whole row of wipes, like different packages of wipes. And then in the top, you can't see in here, which I like it better because it looks cleaner and more organized. But in the in there is like um, lotions, diaper cream, um, just all type of stuff. Maybe I could just show you guys real quick. <laughs> okay so now you can kind of see in there it just has all of that type of stuff like desitin aquaphor you know those types of things let me fix this back okay so i just had to fix that back real quick so yeah let me finish this up now this is a funny story like i told you i ordered those pictures from shein and i also wanted a humidifier in here and so i ordered this off of shein and it's just so little and rinky dink and it like lights up and turns pink and everything but I'm going to get something better. <laughs> I'm going to get something that's also I'm going to get a, a sound machine in here. So that's just sitting there for right now. But that more than likely is going to go away. And this is her. Um, I'm not sure what it's called. I think a letter board or something right now. I just have her name on here. Harley McKenna Isabella Savage. I know some people are like, that is very long. Some people have told me that, but that is her name. And you know, if you don't like it, I understand. I know everyone has their opinions, but remember, this is my baby girl and that's the name that I like for her. And then above that is another um, thing that I got from my baby shower. And it's just like this, um, it's like a fabric, 
I don't know what do you call this just wall decor or whatever and it just says little princess with the gold crown so super cute so super cute but yes guys so that is all of her closet nursery I just love it I just love the way everything turned out and came together like oh my gosh I just <laughs> I had like faith in myself that I could do this but I just of course didn't know it would come out so good and so cute so I wanted to definitely share it with everyone um you know just thinking about how this closet looked before compared to how it looks now I'm just so proud of it and I'm just glad I was able to give her a space in the home that we're in now so yeah that was very important to me okay guys so that is gonna be it for this video i hope you enjoyed that quick little tour of my baby's closet nursery um like i said i'm so happy with the way it turned out and yeah i hope you guys like it too you can leave me a comment down below let me know your favorite part if you would like also like i said before if you're new here or if you haven't already please go ahead and hit that subscribe button i don't have much longer <laughs> till i have her but i do have a few more baby videos that I plan on doing and plan on putting up hopefully before I have her and then um you know I, I want to attempt to actually even vlog my delivery and all of that so yeah hopefully you guys will subscribe so you don't miss those videos and okay I'll see you in the next one bye